Hey guys, it's Z here and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing something a little bit different than what we usually do. I only make some tutorials here, but I decided to do something more for you guys and bring you some more interesting content. So as you all know that I usually make haiku style edits or mix things up and try to recreate them in CapCut, but that is kind of getting boring. So I thought, why not try something new? Maybe a new style as a challenge or something more interesting for you guys to watch. So I decided that I should try a new style and that will be the Bekisawa style. It's creative, it's famous on YT and I guess it's simple to make. I don't know, I'll try it. And since I can make some pretty decent edits on CapCut, I think I'll be able to make something good in this style. And in fact, that's what this whole video is about. I'll be taking on some challenges from you guys and testing my CapCut skills even further. So first things first, I got my audio ready here in CapCut. And before jumping into the editing, I need two things. First of all, I need a character on which this whole edit is going to be about. And also I need an idea. So for that, I was just scrolling on TikTok and I saw something interesting, which gave me a good idea for the edit. And I saw that most of the edits in this style are from Brulog, so I simply thought that I should either go with Ren or either Isagi. But that all depends upon whose cutouts I had the most. So I checked all of the folders in my PC, but I didn't have enough material. The cutouts were old, so I had to reach out some friends on Discord. They make edits on this style before, so I'm really thankful to those guys who helped me out here and gave me the cutouts and the material. I'll mention them here, Align FX and Kairok CC, a huge shout out to them for the materials. Now, since I have made a lot of Isagi edits, so I thought I should go with Ren. So guys, now I got everything ready, the cutouts, the material and the overlays. Now I started to test out a few things before making the whole edit like the new aura or the new zooms, the new shakes and the new glitches. So for the aura, I was testing it out with my new methods, but as you can see, it's turning out trash. But then I remembered that how I used to make auras before. I tried it, I tried that old method and added some new effects in it and it turned out pretty decent for this style. It's not as good as aligned motion, but this will work. For zooms, they were really basic, the basic graphs, and they didn't take much time. And for the shakes, they were kind of different because in this style, it has mostly hard shakes and I had to do them all with keyframes. So they took a little bit of time to understand. Next, I just tested out a few more things and I was done with it. And now it was time to make the whole thing. I wanted to record everything, the whole process for you guys, but sadly my laptop could not handle the recording and the editing at the same time. It kept crashing so I couldn't do that. Still, with a lot of crashes and some patience and a lot of help and advice from my friends on this style, I finished this edit in cap. Now before showing this edit, I want to share my own opinions on this style. I know that some people complain about the compositing in this style, but to be honest, that's just how this style works. And my honest reviews on this style is that it is creative. And I have seen many editors like Zakanex, Solnek, and a few more like Bekisawa. They can make some pretty decent edits with this style too. And I would rate it a 8.5 out of 10 because it's not a 10 out of 10 style reason that compositing does matter. And if you watch too many edits of this style, it feels a little bit more repetitive than the other styles. So that's my opinion on this. And anyways, here is the edit. Um, I would say this turned out really good for CapCut. Like it's not that bad. It's not even goofy. It's looking decent. I think I did a good job. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you guys really like this type of content. Or if you guys want me to make more videos like this or any challenge videos or maybe anything other than just editing, feel free to give your opinions in the comments. So that's it. See you guys in another video. Till then, bye-bye.